of course it's the 1971 Gillette Cup semi-final versus Gloucester in the dark. Mike Proctor's superb 65 in Gloucester's total of 229 has almost been forgotten in the ensuing drama but it laid the foundation for a score that was more than satisfactory for the times. Again, shot. Gave himself room for that and able to hit it square. And you couldn't see a ball go through the offside quicker than that. Now he comes in and bowls to Proctor. Once again, giving himself room, he's actually placed that, placed it superbly for another four. It's powered through enormous power, gone straight through little Harry Pilling. Four runs, 50 to Proctor. And my word, he's getting a great hand from the locals here. They love good cricket up here, and this has certainly been good cricket from Proctor. An hour was lost to rain at lunchtime, and the Lancashire innings reached its climax in dramatically worsening light. Jack Simmons joined Jack Bond at the wicket with a score perilously placed at 163 for six. Good shot. Nice cultured off drive. It looks as though Proctor is going to come and join the attack. He's still got four overs left to bowl. I can always remember Dickie Bird and panicking because of the dark. And uh, Arthur Jepson was the other umpire who was senior and just said, uh, bugger off back, Dick, we're finishing this game, no matter what you say. And, and he did. Uh, tremendous scenes here. Proctor in again. That's the bouncer. A brave hook shot by Simmons in the gathering gloom. Brings him a single. But he couldn't have seen too much of it. 27 wanted off seven overs, John Mortimer to come in for his 10th over. And he's bowled him. So they continue, but that was a brave, noble effort by Jack Simmons, 25, looking to get him a victory as quickly as possible tonight. Then, in came David Hughes. He couldn't do anything for a couple of overs, he just couldn't pick the ball up from the seamers and Mortimer was coming on to bowl his final over and I said to Bondi that you know we've got to got to maybe have a go at this fella now it's come down the wicket, I've no idea, what, yes I have, yes, gone through extra cover for four that's one away, it could be six a tremendous blow by David Hughes looking at the film uh, I noticed the kids in Manchester had shoved the rope in about 20 yards <laughs> <laughs> so really, what, what you might have thought were big hits. <laughs> I only just cleared the end of the square with him. Mortimer again. Challenge accepted, fine off drive. This won't find the boundary. Bissex is there. They're coming back for the second. <laughs> he's come again. Is he going to be safe this time? Yes, he's found the gap. Bring him two more runs. Tremendous scenes here at Old Trafford, Lancashire still out there, 11 wanted to win, there's certainly four more of them there, a magnificent cover drive by Hughes, 10 minutes to nine in gathering gloom, seven runs, wanted it for victory, still four more overs, John Mortimer in, he's going down again, and that's six, a magnificent shot! A superb effort this by David Hughes, that's bringing the scores level. And David Hughes, a hero of the hour at Old Trafford. And there it is, that's the winning round. And just look at these scenes, who's the fastest man? It's David Hughes, he's off, halfway into the pavilion.